Yo. Uh, so we got some interesting stuff going on in Forerunner. I'm not exactly sure when he got added, but I'm assuming it was like the patch that happened <clears throat> like one or two days ago. But we have a new uh, cultist lord. And it's an epic lord. Um, and it is Abizu or Abizu or something like that. Uh, wasn't anything really. I don't remember seeing anything in the patch notes about it, so. Pretty interesting that it got added right away, and I'm thinking this is going to be the first of many more new epic lords. Um, it was something I was wondering for a while if we would see multiple, but I think it, it will be the case. Hopefully, we see some new multi faction lords or something like that. That'd be pretty cool as well. <clears throat> something like the Vladovs or something like that, where they're good and they're a lord for chaos, but they're useful in Nightmare. Just kind of crossovers like that. Those are always really nice to have. Uh, but as far as this one, the talent goes, restores 15 rage when an enemy dies in range. This effect can be triggered one time every 0.5 seconds. So, just a nasty amount of rage regen going to be able to happen if they have like decent multipliers. Uh, there's their standard range. Um, pretty decent attack for an epic. Um... Cost is a little expensive at 22 cost. Uh, but the epic ability, it's the same exact one as uh, Aeon. So increase faction allies basic by 10%. Increase faction allies damage dealt to enemies inflicted with stun, freeze, immobilize, and other control effects by 20%. Uh, and then let's go through her kit. So basic AoE magic attack. 100% AoE damage up to 5 enemies. Uh, for her ult, deals 100% damage 3 times up to 10 enemies in range. Every 1 target hits grants 1 stack of Psych Force, which is increased uh, stack. Each stack increases attack by 3% up to 10 stacks, so a 30% increase if they hit 10 targets. Uh, to the hero. So that's pretty nice. The attack boosts are always very good. Because it comes off the maximum attack. So usually quite a big buff. Um, It's a really cheap cost one as well. So this should be going off a ton. Uh, when the hero has psych force and hits enemy with basic attack... It generates a ground effect area which deals 10% damage per second for 3 seconds. Airborne units take half the damage instead. <clears throat> I think she sounds pretty decent, honestly. Um, this psych is going to be happening a ton. Does it give timing? It lasts for 12 seconds on the psych force. I'm thinking it's going to cycle almost in about like this should almost be like full like psych force up uptime depending on how many units we're facing. Just because she's getting so much rage regen here whenever she kills something. Um if you just give her like a fast attack speed and like a nightmare samsara, she's going to be re rage regening like crazy no matter what. So this uptime could be crazy and then we can go look at awakenings. Uh, when there's one or more target in range, the hero's basic attack has a 25% chance to hit one more target. Uh, attack 5%. The ultimate inflicts magic res reduction, 15%. Um, so that's pretty massive on target's hit. Uh, crit rate. And increases damage dealt by 20 percent for 10 seconds when a target dies in range yeah this uh champ sounds like it's going to be very very good um if you're going to need some cultist help this is going to be a, definitely a boost for a lot of people um being able to get this something like this early game as well is going to be huge for so many accounts yes we get greed now but there's always an issue with uh like that's like the main issue issues people run into is uh mage issues early game. But I think as far as an early game mage, she sounds pretty crazy. I think she's gonna be like one of the best DPS mages for sure. Um 
I'll probably end up pulling tomorrow some more as well on Ancients. Hopefully I can get lucky and grab a copy of her and make a video on her. Just fully deep diving. But I do think within the next month, maybe the few months, we will start to see a lot more uh, epic lords and stuff trickling through. So right now I'm on Forerunner. Obviously we have Vladov. I went through him. Um, I just saw this guy. I hadn't seen him yet either. Uh, new Chaotic Cultist. Um, damage scales off defense. Ooh. So he's a defender with damage. There's a 30% chance of inflicting a 5 second plague. There's 25% AoE damage to the inflicted and up to 30 or and up to 10 enemies around every second. That sounds interesting. So he's definitely going to kill himself. Um auto cast when triggered increases defense by 40% inflicts plague on all targets blocked by the hero and increases the damage of plague on all targets in range to 30% lasting for 8 seconds. Uh, during the ultimate after plague deals five damage 5 times to a target it will spread to the target up to 1 it will spread to the target up to 1 target. Plague inflicted through spreading cannot spread again and will not spread to targets who have been inflicted with it. So it's just a, a spreading debuff. Eh. That could be very, very interesting. I didn't even see this guy until now. Um, so definitely one new guy coming through. Uh, is there anything else that I missed? Oh, another uh, new epic. Another new epic. Any new Legos or anything? Here's Artemis, the coolest looking champ. We saw that one. We saw her. Surely a new nightmare. They love adding nightmare. Nothing new there. Uh, North Throne? They definitely need some epics. Nothing new there. Nothing new there. So there's three new epics, right? Uh, let's go look. Or no, there's four. There's the Esoteric. And then there's the Star Piercer. This one's very, very cool. Kalina. Um, cannot make crit hits. Each attack has a 50% chance to deal extra 2 damage up to 50% of the hero's attack. So this is just going to be an all-out max your attack as high as possible. That is interesting. We haven't seen any kits built like this yet. Um, increases... Okay, so let's go to the first one. Uh, deals 100% magic damage to one enemy. Uh, rapidly attacks one, tar one random target in range. Each hit deals 50% damage and triggering the talent effect after the ultimate gains stun. So she's more of a CC type champ then, really. Like, this is expensive. I don't think this is good at all. At 18 cost as well. Increases attack by 20% when there's... When there is more than one enemy in range, each one additional enemy reduces the attack effect by 5% down to 15%. I'm not a big fan of this kit, honestly. While she looks awesome, I don't think the kit's that crazy. The ultimate no longer inflicts the hero with stun at, at its end. Hold on. We gotta go back and read this kit. Oops. Okay, so the ultimate is just constantly attacking, inflicting that extra, or the chance of inflicting that extra 50% true damage. So it's just a true damage ultimate on one target. 
I wonder if it locks one target or what. This seems interesting. I don't feel like it's going to be that good. It's like a weaker version of Nocturne, really, honestly. Like, yes, Nocturne is good, but uh, you got to think about her base stats are going to be lower. Uh, and that's just going to be... I think Nocturne has the chance of doing 100% rather than the extra 50. I don't know. I would like to play with her. Um, so, and it inflicts stun on themselves. Attack 5%. During the ultimate, the interval of rapid attacks reduces by 30%. Rager Gen. For every five instances of damage taken from Kalina, enemies receive one extra true damage equal to 100% of Kalina's attack. Awakenings are alright. Nothing crazy. Definitely worth testing out. Um, another one that I want to add to the list now. Uh, my Esoteric on my Forerunner is so weak. I should have a Helga video coming soon. And then who was that last one? It was the Star Piercer. Very cool looking champ. S me. Uh, basic attack has a 50% chance of bouncing to one extra target and a 30% 30 30 chance of inflicting poison on the target. The poison effect. Okay, so deals 100% damage to one enemy, prioritizes airborne units. <clears throat> when activated, increases damage by 45% and each basic attack lands two consecutive strikes instead. The second strike will attack a random enemy in range. Uh, so it's just a quick burst of damage. I don't... It's okay. It's not great. Um, when the hero's basic attack kills targets inflicted with poison, deals 60% AOE damage up to five targets. That's pretty interesting. That's like a poison explosion. Um, super cheap cost. Well, with all the marksmen. Um, got the big range. Awakenings. Venomous eruption inflicts stun upon the targets. That's pretty cool. Um, crit rate. Increases the chance of basic attack to bounce by 25%. That's what? Um, okay. Uh, penetration, 5%. Increases the crit rate of basic attack by 50% against targets inflicted with poison. I think you'd still build her with crit rate, even if you got her A5. Because generally, that's only the gear you're keeping anyway. So, yeah, a bunch of new champs. Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, if I get a hold of any of them, I will definitely try it out. Uh, I can't really pull yet. Let's see if I, there's any in here. Nope. So, yeah, uh, that's all for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the new champs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.